I just woke up a little bit ago. I'm still in my tie dias. These are such comfortable shirts. The only thing that would be better is if they had pockets right here on the boob. <clears throat> so whenever I go into the store and I have my phone with me, I stick it. I do. I do it laminette style. I stick it in the bra. Because I always have my grocery list on my phone. I'm trying to go through and answer all the comments I had on my video yesterday. This is something I had to talk about. My channel. I had to get up my thoughts. How I felt out. I feel better. And I'm not upset with that person. I'm not mad at her. I It just confused me and kind of was sad. It was just strange. Um, thank you all for your comments. I just got done doing a little business. That's one good thing about having your own business that you could crawl out of bed, empty the bladder, go to your desk, do some work, and <laughs> it, it's right there. I had to call a few customers, get a few payments over the phone, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, my billing's all done. Dad was leaving and he said, do you have anything to mail out? I'm like, hang on. So I wrote out a few bills and, <laughs> and sent a few invoices with him because he was going to be going through the parking lot across the street that has the mailbox, I think. I don't know, where he, I don't know what he's going to do. I know he's going to his sister's today. She called yesterday and said, Neil, if I drive over there, will you give me two eggs? And Dad's like, Jenny, go down the street and buy a dozen eggs for a couple dollars. It'd be much cheaper. Because um, she doesn't live in the town that we do. She lives in a totally different town. <laughs> it would have cost her more to drive here to get two eggs than it would have been for her to go down the street and buy a dozen. <laughs> so she cracks me up sometimes. I just... Uh, she... Uh, She's having her kids over on Sunday for dinner. Her one son lives out of town up in Ann Arbor. He works for the nuclear plant uh, over that way. He worked here uh, near us for years. The nuclear plant put him through college. He's very smart. Very, very smart. Um, so they're supposed to come into town and she's cooking dinner. I don't know if Ronnie's going or not, my business partner. Um... And she doesn't have very much stuff. So Dad's going over, going to help her out and take her grocery shopping so she can make a nice dinner for them. So him and Heidi went off. He had some other stops he wanted to make. Then yesterday, after I made my video, I, we left and we went... Um, we were going to go to Myers, but we ended up at Walmart across the street. And we ended up going to Subway for lunch and got that customer appreciation cold cut combo special. That's our favorite sandwich there anyway. So we had each had a sandwich and then we went shopping. I didn't buy very much, just a couple little things. I think I spent like $14. I had to buy some shake and bake because I'm making pork chops tonight. And um, what else did I buy yesterday? I bought some more um, mini, mini chocolate chips because I'm going to make some more of that chocolate tea bread. And I think I have enough uh, chocolate to make two batches. Mm. I might go in and make no big cookies today. I'm running out of treats to make treat bags for the last people that were given treats to. I wish I would have bought some more Nilla wafers to make more rum balls because I have everything I need but that. So that might happen when I go shopping on Monday. Because on Tuesday, Angie and Angela are coming over for a game day and I'm so excited. I know I probably mentioned it, but I'm still excited. Um, I don't get very many game days, so it's always fun to have somebody to play games with. Back in the day. I was always the person that had a, I used to drive a, um, <clears throat> a ca uh, Kevlar. And in the trunk of my car, I always had a plastic tote with games in it. So whenever I went anywhere and everybody wanted to play games, they're like, Stacy, go get your tote of games. And we'd play games. For a while, big one we'd play was Apples to Apples. That is a funny game. When you get a group of people who know how to play 
and it just gets really funny. It it's, it's a good game. And um and I, w I had a friend that I would go see down in Terre Haute and we would always play games with his friends and but over the years I've lost all my game playing friends and I haven't got a whole lot of game playing in the last few years. I know people say you can play games online. I know, but I like the old fashioned sit around the table with a person type game. <laughs> That's what I like. When I grew up I was I was next door all the time and she and I would play cards and games all day. That was our thing. We would play Handed foot, and Scrabble, and Chinese checkers, and all kinds of stuff. We always played dealer's choice, so it would bounce back and forth. She would choose, and I would choose. And, um, yeah, Miss Berta. I miss having them next door. She was born in 1910. Yep, she died probably. Oh, she's probably been gone. See, Burdette's been gone 13 years. And Berta probably lived a good five or six years after him. So, she's been gone maybe five or six years now. There the last couple of years she didn't know anybody. Uh, we took her out for, was it Easter, I think? This is right when we got Heidi. So, Heidi was tiny. She's just a tiny little puppy. So, sometime in the summer, because we got Heidi on Memorial Day weekend, the end of May. So we must have just had a dinner at Grandma's that summer, and we took Berta out there, and we were sitting out back, and we were showing her the puppy, and she was so excited to see the puppy. And, um, she, I said, do you know who I am? And she's like, no. And that was the first time I really knew that she was gone. But she was still happy and liked to socialize with people. She just didn't know who anybody was. <laughs> we were just nice people that came to take her out. <laughs> um, now babbling. Babbling. So today there isn't really a whole lot of planned stuff. What is today? Thursday? Is today Thursday? Thinking it's Thursday today. I've been still eating on my pitted dates. They're a nice snack to have here in here in the bedroom. I like them. I forgot how much I like dates. I hadn't had them in years. And Dad still sees me eat one. He goes, eh. Eh. <laughs> That's about what's going on today. I miss anything. I can't believe Christmas is less than two weeks away. We'll be going out to my aunt and uncle's farm like normal, the same place that we had our Thanksgiving dinner. I'll probably get more film of the baby. Actually, yeah, I put my Thanksgiving footage up. I think I have. I need to plug in my flip cam to my laptop and get all the crap out of there from the just piddling around the kitchen and I don't even know what's all on there honestly well, it'll be a surprise to all of us I guess okay have a good day people and I will talk to you probably tomorrow like normal bye